Hello and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my cargo liner. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I know I told you I was going to share the installation of my ECS skid plate. However, since I have the brace and everything that comes with it, it's not just a skid plate. It's a little more involved to install it. I need to remove the fender liners and blah, blah. It's more than I want to do right now, especially during the holidays while my daughter is visiting. So I will shoot that video later when I have more time to commit to it. In one of my previous videos, I had shared some images of the cargo liner in my car, and a lot of people didn't understand what it was. And so uh, let me take you over and show it to you. So here's the interior. And you've seen this before in my subwoofer video. And the cargo liner is by a company called Canvasback. Let me pull this Volkswagen liner out of the way. And the Canvasback cargo liner is designed for, well, I don't want to say it's designed for dog owners, but it, it has them in mind. It's for the outdoors enthusiast. And it's designed, well, I am going to say it's designed for the dog owner. Uh, this stuff is extremely tough. It's made to um, tolerate claws digging into it, it's particularly from heavy dogs. And obviously, I'm not going to fit a big giant dog in here with my parcel shelf installed, but uh, with the seat back down and the parcel shelf removed, I, I suppose I could put a big dog in here. I, I don't have one, so I don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so everything is held into place with Velcro. This is one piece. I'm not going to remove it because I'm working one-handed here. But although it looks like there's a seam here, there's not. Right, let me push this down real quick so you can see. So there it is. It's just one piece. And uh, everything is cut to fit pretty well in here. It's got cutouts for the, uh, the tie-down loop. And then a cutout for the pass-through. This is what people saw when I was doing my uh, 93 or 3-year 93K video. And it's all Velcroed in place. I'm not going to pull it all out, but it's made to preserve the interior so the interior doesn't get goofed up by cargo or anything. And I've put some very heavy, obnoxious things in here. And then these side pieces are separate. Um, the cost of the liner, I'm not going to say it because it changes, but I will put a link up in the description. And that way you can look at it and see what it costs. Uh, the Velcro here, it does pull the carpet a little bit. I, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can the, also having these here, it hides my cargo that's in the side. So you can see I've got my uh, uh, air compressor in there and I've, I think I have a little antenna for my ham radio. Over on this side, I've got my tire patching kit. There's some uh, minor, minor tools in there that come in handy for when I need to remove my subwoofer platform. And again, it's all just held in place by Velcro and hides everything pretty well. There's not really an awful lot to show you here. And again, it all just comes up so you can see the, the thickness of it. And you've all seen this stuff here before. But, yeah, that's it. Um, what else is there to say? It's a piece of canvas that's cut to fit. They custom make these for a wide variety of cars. And so you, you, if you've got a, odds are if you've got a car with a hatchback, you'll be able to find a canvas back cargo liner that'll fit it. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions. I just can't think of anything else to tell you about it because it's pretty simple yet effective. So uh, thanks for visiting and have a good one.